I'm gonna go where you lead me I just wanna follow you, God I don't wanna miss the amazing things you have planned for me my favorite hole at the mini golf course. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a rainbow. Well, the rainbow at the mini golf course is way bigger. But I like this one too. Here's how it works. You hit the ball with this golf club. If it goes under the rainbow, you will get a hole in one. Hello, Hayden. Ho, ho. Did I hear some cheering from you? Yes, Ollie. I'm practicing for my rainbow hole in one. Rainbows are special. That is true. They remind us of God's promise. Ho, ho. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. Promise, if you jump, I'll give you a treat. <laughs> Good girl! Here's your treat, just like I promised. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I was just talking to her about keeping promises, which is what today's story is all about. Isn't that right, Stormy? <laughs> now, today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Noah who trusted God's plans. 
God told Noah to build something really big. Do you know what it was? Yes, a big, huge boat. Then God sent two of every animal to get on the boat. Look out, Noah, here they come. Stormy Jane, you are not on Noah's boat, silly dog. Come back over here. There were penguins and frogs and alligators and sloths and butterflies and every kind of animal on earth. Once all of the animals in Noah's family were on the boat, God shut the door. Do you remember what happened next? That's right, it began to rain. It rained and it rained until the whole earth was covered with water. God kept Noah, his family, and the animals safe. After the rain stopped, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird to see if it could fly and find dry land. Everybody wave bye to the bird. Bye. It flew away, but came back with nothing. So Noah tried again later. Wave again to the bird. <laughs> bye. This time, the bird brought back a fresh green leaf. Yay, that means there was dry land where plants were growing. Then God told Noah and his family and all of the animals they could finally get out of the boat. Hooray! Next, God did something wonderful. God put a beautiful rainbow in the sky as a reminder of his promise that he will never, ever, ever, ever flood the whole world again. Have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky? <laughs> Me too, they are so special because God says every time there is a rainbow in the sky, he remembers his promise to us. God loves us so much, we can trust his plans for us. God had plans for Noah and God has plans for you too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there is your story, and it's all true. God keeps his promises, so always trust God's plans for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God loves us so much that he made a promise to me, you, and all the creatures in the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! Now when I see a rainbow, I will remember that God always keeps his promises. See you next time! For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11.